something wrong with Bertha. She's running perfect. Awesome. But anyways, we're at the first set and nothing. Aww. So, let's keep going and going and going and going. No link today. Or Martin. Look like wolf tracks. Hmm. Going that way. It looks like a younger, young wolf. Maybe scouting around for that moose that was hanging around here. Keep going, keep going. Oh, Martin Cow. Well, nothing up there. Oh. Whoa, Pete, right on my trail. I should just put it. Oh, I, didn't, I don't even have a wolf top here. At least we know there's one wolf down this way. But no wolverine came back. Here's the old, old wolverine tracks. Hoping he'll be back. There's moose tracks around too. Just a little ways back there. Just a little ways back there. Okay. Let's keep going down the hill. down here ha uh ha -huh. I talked to myself for about 20 minutes just talking and you weren't on but anyways, I got my bannock all cut. One eighth now already. So, let's start over. Yum, yum, yum. Strawberry today, or, yeah. I'd like to apologize for um, not catching anything and having skiddy problems and my other camera broke down and just bad luck after bad luck like my horoscope said but one thing you do is just grit your teeth and just take it cool. Things bound to turn around, right? Got it. I wasn't gonna have a trap in season, remember? But because um, old Yeller's track was too big and we couldn't fix it, so we slapped the parts on her, right? See, old old Yeller's part of Bursa now. <laughs> We got it going. We're making it going. And we started trapping. We're making something out of nothing. Right? Hmm. It's hard to do because some people just kind of appreciate. I don't know. I don't know. Some people have different ways of seeing things. 
And um, like I was telling you, remember old oh, Edward? We went hunting, or not hunting. We went picking berries, me, Edward, and Annie. And um, we saw a bear. And uh, Edward said something in our language. And uh, that bear just looked at us and just kept walking. And I was puzzled. I said, how come we didn't shoot it, Edward? He said, first you gotta see what kind of bear it is. Just talk to it. And then, if it's, you know, so it can't really judge a person really, eh? By just looking at them, you know. You gotta judge him by um, saying a few words to him first. But anyways, uh, I don't know where I'm going with that, but. Oh, yeah. That there's more than, um, there's more people in this world, more personalities, like, there's probably hundreds of personalities out there. But just keep going and going and going, right? <laughs> but it's got to come to a point where... I'm not catching any fur, right? And what if my screw's on its last leg? So, we're gonna have to start thinking of something in the new year. Right? Because right now, it's just, just, it's just way too much work for me. Sometimes I finish editing at two in the morning and, oh, it's all it's all fun and I know it's gonna pay off later, but, I wish I could pay off now. <laughs> but anyways, some people make it like, um, there's 600 shows and they never made, you know, nothing and pretty soon overnight just boo, boo, boo. There's thousands and hundreds of thousands of sub subscribers and, you know, never know. One, one day I might just wake up with 50,000 subscribers. You just never know. So I'm not gonna quit, right? I'm not, we're gonna keep going and going and going. But like I said, it's gotta to come to a point where I gotta think of another content because it gets tiring and eh? it's going to a trap and there's nothing and, and I don't wanna show it. So maybe this is where you could help me. Just send me your little videos through Messenger and or somehow send it to me, or figure a way and I could show your little, how you set your traps and uh, what you catch. Maybe even pictures, right? Awesome, awesome. And I'll do a little bit of trapping too. But I might have to trap on top of the hill because if she breaks down, I don't wanna walk too far with my bad leg or hip. But anyways, thinking out loud again. But yeah, think about it. Um, think about sending me some of your uh, trapping clips and I'll post it on here while I talk, eat panic and I'll show you, I'll, I'll say something. Or even a little song you wrote or whatever. Just send me something and then I'll, I'll post it on the Robert Bedeen trapping show. Okay? It'll be easier on me. My, oh, my body's getting old. <laughs> so that's another way. Let's think about not let me do all the hard work you help me mm -hmm. it remind me of um Mary Lowe's message time we used to have on the radio here um it was like a message time um but anyways uh, all those trappers are uh, not Mary Lowe's I think it was just message time um, Mary Lowe's is a show we always waited to listen to her talk and tell, tell about the old times. Um, the Mary Lowe show. That's awesome. Um, I was thinking about is, uh, like message time. It was on the radio a long time ago. When you, about 10 o'clock or something, we turn on the radio and then we listen to message time and they talk to us trappers there. Say to be at this road at this time and your ride will be there and Oh, planes coming to pick you up and stuff like that. Wouldn't that be awesome? I'll relay your message to my little YouTuber.
Or you give me ideas, huh? Okay. I'm gonna eat this last one. And then go. Long time ago. Running tents up in Fort Third Mountains, holy oh, is tough work. But you just wanna get on top, eh? So you can see what kind of view you got. Sometimes you see Fisherman Lake. Sometimes you see the Leroy River. It's awesome. So many years I've been up there. This it was it was fun. I, when I first got there, I didn't know the locals. Just you know, everyone. I never started work until a month when I was. I stayed in the yard for about three weeks. By the time they called me, I had two chainsaws and all that stuff. And um, it was Beaver Enterprise. And um, for one whole for one whole month, I was a packer until they realized I had two chainsaws there. And then I was a lead cutter. Yeah, I had my own crew, cause mostly because um, some of the locals didn't know how to talk on the radio, eh? Cause it's all new to them too, and I was I was comfortable seeing where we were and all that stuff. Or if a bear came, I'll go on the radio and tell him to we'll chase it away. And it was it was awesome, real awesome. And um, sometimes going to work, you see Peter Burton at the fire tower, just wave at him. His family will wave back. Awesome. That's when we worked at Muskeg River that time. Wow, I was sure muscled that time. I was so hot sometimes too, it's crazy. And when berries come up and get ripe, the berries come up. There's one place we call Bear Valley. If you're working in that valley and you leave your bag for 10 minutes, it's gone. Bear took it. That's how much berries were coming up for the berries there. Eh? Scary, scary. At one time, um, they dropped us off. There were 16 of us, four crews, pilot. So that's 17 of us. I think the pilot's name was Henry. I think it was. But um, he dropped all of us off at our places. And he, when he dropped off the last crew, something went wrong. His motor stopped in air, and his blades automatically went into auto rotation, and then poof, he landed pretty hard. He heard his, I, I heard he hurt his back, but I, I don't know. That's all I heard. Lucky uh, all four crews were down there, right? Because I was on one of them. Oh, that would be a rough landing, four crews in there. I always think about that because I guess that's a close call, right? Next, a uh, few days later, a big topper with two blades came picked up that big 212. I think I have a picture of that big 212 somewhere. But not on a... It's just uh, at staging. That time we grabbed the big topper. Look, 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 look. We ran in this staging with a big chopper and then take off with the, those A stars. Faster, eh? That's fun. But, anyways, let's pack up and keep going. We still got um, one 330 and one Martin Trap set that way. So, okay. Awesome, man. Too bad, um, um, I couldn't trap anywhere else. I'm just, this is the only place I could trap. Funny, eh? All oh, that's all indigenous land, and I'm just stuck trapping on a reserve. But we're doing it. Well, trying. <laughs> Cut one Martin tail. 
Link Pro. Wish I could just trap anywhere, like long, long back before trap lines, but I'll probably get charged for poaching. Okay. See you at the traps up there. If I caught something. Okay. Before I go, I forgot, I, I looked back a little bit and these are only two shout outs I could find. So, there's two shout outs I want to give. A shout out to Harvey Mandeman from Shoal Lake First Nation, Ontario. You're awesome. And Wallace Nanut and his sons Jerry, Ross and Terrence from Fox Lake and John Dior. You're awesome. Okay? Okay. Sorry if, uh, for the ones I forgot. Okay, let's go. Go, go, go. So anyways, I never um, <clears throat> I never caught anything in that last two sets, so I didn't film it. And um, our next video will be in a couple of days, and we'll pull our line okay, and then we'll come back after the new year, and we'll reset them okay. So that way I'll have a few days rest on my poor hip, and yeah, could you think about it, uh, about what I said back there? Um, about sending the video or pictures of your trapping sets or what you catch or you know things like that video or picture just uh, give me more content instead of me filming an empty trap because obviously there's hardly no tracks on the res so I'm always coming up empty handed okay okay so I'll see you in the next video, Thursday, and we'll spring our traps, okay? And then we'll, in the new year, we'll send them and start fresh 2021, okay? Okay. You're awesome. So, this is peace. And I'll see you Thursday <laughs> in a couple of days. And, um... But if I go home and there's some letters or whatever, I got. I, if I got anything in the mail, I'll turn you back on. Okay. Okay. Remember, you're awesome.